Hello and welcome to my Fallout 4 experience and today I'm going to be demonstrating Advanced FO4 Tactics which is basically playing the sides against the middle. Now, my next target is the Eastern Enclave and the Coastal Cottage because they're very close together. And I was walking down from Salem and I noticed a, a My Alert Queen, level 50 My Alert Queen, very close to the settlement. But I also noticed on a bridge three raiders and I thought this is a perfect example of playing the sides against the middle. I shall attack both sides and then I shall get them to attack each other. And by mere fact that I will not be there, they will attack each other. And then I can carry on to my primary target, which is the Enclave here encampment. Right. Strategy, the key to strategy is observation. And if you know to, if you do watch uh, what happens to the Merlot, like, you'll notice that it, 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 it follows a prescribed path. It will go up and down the, uh, the road and then it will cut across towards the uh, fish packing factory. Now, there is actually someone still at um, Coastal Cottage, but there's a single, only a single raider, which is very unusual because normally it's either Myalurks ghouls or raiders and, and in this case there are three high-ranking raiders on the bridge but then there's no legendaries amongst them and there's a single raider at coastal cottage you know low low level raider so i think what's happened is i obviously i've come here prior to doing a minuteman quest here into, i'm not in the minutemen so i won't be doing quests for them so I'm going to wait for the Myalurk to, to run its course. I'm going to wait for it to do its thing. It will come up that road and then it will cut across. Now here it comes. It will go up the road and then it will cut across the sand towards the fish packing factory. And when it's halfway across the sand, that's when I'll probably attack it. I'm going to attack it from a slope position. Uh, that a lot, of, a lot of what I do is done from the slope position. Um, and obviously uh, let it play out. So there's no harm in dropping a mine just in case the, the attack goes wrong and the Myalurk does approach my position. So, yeah, so we're going to go up there and then start the attack on the other raiders. But I won't be able to do that until the Myalurk is in position. Right, there it is. It's coming along the uh, path. It should go along the path. So, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll start the attack on the raiders. Now I shall proceed up here, take out the solo raider that's guarding the coastal cottage. And by that time, um, the Myalurk will hopefully be in position, possibly lateral, very close to the uh, raiders. There they are, you see they're getting into position. Um, okay, a shot across the brow. Right, so we take out the solo raider and then be able to advance to uh, the slope position to where to attack the Myalurk. I have to be careful, there's the raider. See, it's a solo raider. It's a low-ranking raider. That's un very unusual. But you know, this is the situations that can occur in Fallout 4 when you preempt, when you preempt it, and go places that you, it's not expecting you to go. Right. So I'm now roughly in a good position, maybe a little bit closer. So I don't think I can hit it from here. But there's the Myalock. Now it's going across its prescribed path towards the fish packing factory. Now the Obviously the raiders on the bridge are now red, they're enraged, I've shot at them, before that they were yellow, now they're red. Uh, as soon as they see the Milo, they may well just start attacking it himself. You know, but they are technically coming towards my position. Right, okay, so I've shot at the Milo Queen, and the Milo Queen will now be turning and heading back this way. And as it does so, I should be um, moving it sideways, as I am now, across towards the... Um, basically the area of where the the raiders are yes i better watch that nick doesn't put start attacking too much and now i shall head up oh i've just seen a myalurk i shall head up to the enclave and leave the myalurk queen and the raiders to uh, become acquainted with themselves right let's sort, sort this out hey over 
here. So here we have the enclave position. Uh, I've still got Nick selected so I can get him to attack specific targets, uh, which I will do whilst uh, rotating myself around the target and approaching from the other side. That will split their uh, attack uh, forces. One will be focused on one side and the other lot will be focused on the other side, depending on how well Nick does. Uh, but that is a lot of the tactics that I employ when I'm out with a companion. You know, get them to attack one direction while you skirt around the other side and take them out from the other side. But you know, so I'm in a position, I'm not in a slope position, but I'm in a reverse slope position, but it doesn't always uh, work. Now let's take out the turret. And Nick, he should be coming in close proximity now. Yeah, it looks all looking good. There's Nick, you know, he's, he's coming over here and he's not in follow mode. He won't attack. Uh, looks like he's down. I might have to go over there and give him a big old stim pack. Now I do. He has, as yet, I haven't been able to build the, um, the suit that deploys the stim pack for you. But as soon as I've got enough science points, I will do that. And then, technically, any of the companions that wear the suit with the uh, that that uh, mod in it will uh, automatically be stim packed, and that will save me having to run over and stim pack them. That's the theory, anyway. And uh, so there you have it. That's uh, we're taking out the uh, the enclave uh, position. Um, it's interesting though. Um, <laughs> I didn't. I'd, I'd come very close to it. Obviously, I've just discovered it. You know. So uh, I wonder how the mod look and the raiders are getting on. I might have to kind of have a look and come back later and then do some looting. Right, but before we do that, we've better check with Nick, and Nick's actually carrying around shed loads of armour so that we can swap our armour out when it gets damaged and to continue on the fight. Yes, uh, I see the raiders are coming fully acquainted with the Myler Queen. Which means, um, yes, there's nothing else left but to claim uh, the cottage. Well, technically, there's nothing gone, and there's nothing else up here. Well, we'll see what if that plays out. Right, so I've just discovered Coastal Cottage. Uh, oh, yes, there's a Mylurk. Of course, Mylurks go with the Mylurk Queen. I mean, there's the Mylurk Queen spitting acid from a, a reverse slope position. Um, yes, I can see how that's going to play out. They're, they're, I'll probably have to be able to go over there later and get the remains of the raiders if there's anything left. Right, let's see if we can claim the cottage. Uh, success, we have the cottage. All right, the cottage is all done now. Uh, all I need to do is drop off the gear and then head back to Diamond City and uh, get ready for the next quest, which is, what is the next quest? Um, ah, I think I might have picked up the next quest in the Railroad Ballistic Fibre mission. I think that's my next one, so I'll get onto that. Right, well, it's been interesting. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, very short video, and uh, I shall see you again soon. All the best, and have fun out there. And uh, yeah, play to win. Bye for now.